difference does, doesn't mean that, you know, there's one team versus another. Guess what? There's auto racing. Welcome back to Bet Money Honey. My name is Patty Davidson, and once again, I am here to help you learn how to bet sports. There's a lot of sports. Sports does, doesn't mean that, you know, there's one team versus another. Guess what? There's auto racing. Auto racing is a huge sport, and it's a fun sport, and it's so much fun to attend, so much fun to bet, but it's a little bit different. And it's different because we don't have, you know, team A playing team B. What we have is either road course, oval course, whatever it is, and they are competing against each other. Now, granted, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, the individuals competing against each other may be on a team with each other, but in my experience in watching, um, winning is more important than a team member. I mean, if you can help them out and you don't have a chance, perhaps you will, but again, it's an individual sport. And because it is an individual sport, it makes betting a little bit different. Now there are two, there are three majors that we know of anyway. So what are our three majors? We're gonna have NASCAR, we're gonna have Formula One, and we're gonna have IndyCar races. And those are absolutely the majors. And so let's just use an example. Let's use NASCAR at the example, and we're gonna say, how about the Daytona 500? It's a big race. There's a lot of big races, but this is a big race. So if I wanted to bet the Daytona 500, again, remembering that these are individuals basically racing against each other is what happens. And if you've ever been to a race, or even if you haven't, you've watched it on TV, what you do notice is that auto racing can get very confusing because cars lap each other. And then pretty soon you don't even know who's in the lead anymore because you know, your you know, stronger cars, whatever that day was, they start lapping, 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 and then they're all together. And so it's kind of a little bit of a difficulty to see who is even in the lead. But again, that's why you have those towers that say, oh, so-and-so's in the lead, so-and-so's in the lead, so-and-so's in the lead. But you can make it a little bit more interesting by betting different kind of bets. So you can always bet so we have matchups. And so we say, well, I mean, there, there's a lot of cars in that race. There's a lot of cars. I'm not sure if I can pick the winner. It's almost like a horse race or a foot race or something. I'm not so sure if I can pick that winner. But I really like this matchup. And what's my matchup? So let's say I took Hemrick and I put it against Mayer. And what they would say is like, you know what? These are the only two people in your race. That's the only two people you got. And so if you wanted to bet Hemrick in this situation that we have on the board, I would have to lay my $12, $120, $1,200, dollars whatever it is to win my $10 because they think he is favored a little bit to beat Mayer. And if I bet Mayer, I could say, I'm just gonna put my $10 and guess what? They're gonna pay me $11 because they think that again, Hemrick is favored a little bit more and he has a better possibility of winning between these two drivers. Or you can do props, and that's where, you know, things like this come into play is like, when you have big games or something like this, they do what they call, you can call them propositions, but they call them props, and so, and there are so many of them. And so if you go, you just, and they're very self-explanatory, but an example would be, okay, on my prop bet, I'm gonna say that the most laps led by any driver, most laps led, so it means that as I'm going around the track or whatever it is in the is, well, in NASCAR is going to be going around the track. How many laps did I lead? How many laps was I the number one person, the front person? So you can bet. It's almost like a, a little bit of a total. I could bet over maybe 74 and a half laps that I was in the lead. I could lay my dollar 30. So I say, okay, I think that, you know, this driver is so strong, they're going to lead there is a driver out there that is so strong that they are going to lead at least 75 laps. That's what they're gonna do. And I'm so sure of it, I'm gonna put my $13, $130, $1,300 out to win my $10,000. Or I may say, you know what? It's really a year that nobody is that strong. And so therefore I'm gonna say under, 
I'm going to say that nobody is going to lead that much. And so I'm going to say even money, I'm going to put up my $10, my $100, whatever it is, and I'm going to win this bet. And there are so many different props that, you know, you just you just look look at your app, go to your sports book, do wherever it is, and just look at all their props. But this is a different way to bet because it gives you a lot of interest in the game. Now you're watching a lot of different things that are going on, you know, and so. But then there's also, you know, like you can bet on individual drivers. So you say that, uh, okay, um, I, I think that in this race, you know, Bell will finish at least in the top 10. So I can bet my driver, but my driver doesn't have to win the whole race. My driver just has to be in the top 10 of the, of the race. Because again, with that many cars and that many individuals, sometimes it's really difficult to pick the one that's going to win. And then this gives you like, okay, that's okay. I can still root for this driver the whole race. They only have to come in in the top 10. And again, it comes down to, you know, it's a, uh, it, it, you know, uh, well, on this one is actually saying to finish in the top 10 and to finish again, well, I get, put my $10 down, they're gonna pay me 16, put my 100, 160, you know, but it gives me a rooting value in the game. And, but you could also bet against that driver. You could say, you know what, I think that driver is overrated or whatever your thought is or whatever reason is, so I think they will not finish in the top 10. And so therefore you have to put up your $19 to win 10. So it's just different ways to bet. And then you also have the futures, of course, you know, and the futures are, hey, I think that they're gonna win the whole thing. And that's when your money starts multiplying a little bit because for in this example, you could say that I think that Kyle Busch at 10,000 you know, to one will win the whole race. But you can see that it's, you know, it, winning the whole race in a NASCAR race, there's a lot of laps. There's a lot, or any of these races, there's a lot of laps, a lot of time, cars can blow up, cars can get wrecked, cars can do everything. But it's kind of fun, you know, because if you do come in, think if you had a, in this race, Cody Ware at 100,000 to one, hmm, that's a lot of money and you just have to root your team in. But whenever you bet, you know, racing, car racing, it is different, you know, than other kind of sports because again, it's not one-on-one, -on -one. it's one against many. And so, but it can still be a lot of fun. So you just go in and you think about it. You could do matchups, you could do proposition bets, prop bets, you can do your future bet, at least you have that one going on too. And you can still have a lot of fun watching the game. So go enjoy the race. My name is Patty Davidson, and I'm here to teach you how to bet money, honey.